The Professional Services Tools Library in Dynamics GP has a nice little utility in it. It allows you to create automatically new vendors, new customers, and new GL accounts and other companies that may be within your system. So how it works is there's our triggers. There's triggers that are set up for customers, vendors, or GL accounts. You can use all three or just one or two of them. And what it does is if you add, for example, a vendor in one company, it can be replicated in multiple companies as you enter and save that. It will also update any changes you make to that new uh, vendor. So um, let's take a look at it. It's pretty neat. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on one of these triggers. There's RM Masters trigger here. There's a vendor trigger down here and then there's a GL trigger right here. We'll just select one of them. It brings up the same window which is this one here and you select which is your master database and which databases you want to replicate to. You can replicate to multiple ones and you can see that you have multiple master databases replicating to other databases. And then you can just select which attributes of the system you want replicated to the other databases and they could be accounts, GL accounts, or vendors, or customers. So you just make this setup once and then you're done. So let's take a look at it. Let's add a new vendor in my master company which is Fabricam down here and we'll add a vendor master file record. So I finished filling out the new vendor record and then when I save it, it'll automatically be saved in my current company that will be replicated to other companies that I designated. So let's go over to the other company and take a look at it. So I'm in the other company here. I can take a look at my vendor cards. And I can do a quick look up to make sure that I've got that new vendor. And here it is. So one thing you want to be careful of is that if you have a class ID that's in the originating company, it'll bring over some of the information in that um, new company. So what I've done is I've just created my own class IDs in the new company. And I'll just select that. And it will fill out the default values for that particular class. So, so this is an easy way to replicate information from one company to the next or to even multiple companies. You can do that again for general ledger accounts, vendors, and customers. So if you have that scenario that would make use of this, this is a pretty easy tool to use. Also, if you make changes, if you say you change an address in the master company, it will also replicate that change throughout the system.